Hello and welcome to our video on paint chipping. So the first question is, what is paint chipping? Why would we want to do it? So most aircraft are made of metal and they're painted over. And what happens is, as the aircraft is exposed to the elements and natural wear and tear, the paint will often get peeled away in small spots, revealing the silver or metallic color underneath. So paint chipping on models is a way to simulate that effect. There are various methods for applying paint chipping to a model airplane. The first involves painting a silver base coat, then masking the areas that need chipping with rubber cement or salt, then painting the color coat, and finally removing the mask to reveal the silver paint underneath. The second method also involves painting a silver base coat then painting the color coat and applying strong packing tape to remove parts of the color coat. The third and fourth methods we'll show today and those involve not using a silver base coat but just painting the color coat and then applying paint chipping with silver paint using a paintbrush or with silver paint pens or pencils. We want to apply paint chipping to the areas of the plane that will see the most wear and tear. Common areas include the leading edges of the wings and the stabilizers and the vertical fin, as well as the root of the wing where the pilot may walk on the plane to get into the, air, into the cockpit. Here are some of the materials we can use to simulate paint chipping on an airplane. So from the top, we have silver paint, that's acrylic paint, then an enamel paint marker, then a silver pencil, followed by a gel pen, and finally a silver paint pen. So we're going to apply some paint chips to the leading edge of the Spitfire using our acrylic paint and a brush. So first we'll dip the brush in the paint and we're actually going to remove most of the paint on this paper. And then as you see here, we're going to gently rub the edge of the brush on the leading edge of the wing. 